These were the three main ones, the military, the economic, and the political. Then some people began to look to all kinds of other things and uh, came up with various answers. Now, <clears throat> if things go wrong and you become aware that things have gone rather badly wrong and are getting worse, there are two questions you can ask. You can ask, what did we do wrong? And then, of course, the next question to which that leads is, how do we put it right? That's generally been the question that the Turks asked and the modernizers everywhere else in the Islamic world. The other question you can ask is, who did this to us? Yeah. And that, of course, leads into a sort of twilight zone of neurotic fantasies and paranoia. And victimization. And victimization and self-victimization, yeah. seeing oneself as victim. Yeah. Apart from that, a lot of other arguments have been put forward. One which I think is extremely important first appears, to my knowledge, in 1868. And that is the question of women. Um, if you look at the writings of Western visitors to the Middle East and Middle Eastern visitors to the West through the centuries, the position of women is one of the most striking difference, differences that they all see. The Western travelers in the East included women, of course. Eastern travelers in the West did not include women for obvious reasons. But they observed these things, and there are many striking comments. The Middle Eastern visitors to the West are usually shocked and horrified at what they regard as the absurd deference given to women. Mm. Uh, Western visitors to the Middle East usually show ill-concealed envy of what they imagine to be the privileges of the Muslim male. But until... So, some would say that, that only half of the population that goes to the Middle East looks at it that way. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. Um, in only one respect, Muslim women were better off than Western women, and that is they had property rights. Yes which Western women did not have until comparatively modern times. But in every other respect, they were incomparably worse off. I mean, no one would pretend that in the Western world, women had equal rights with men, certainly not. But they were still vastly better off than women in almost any other society you care to name. Now, in 1868, a young Turkish writer called Nama Kemal wrote an article published in a daily newspaper in which he put forward the revolutionary view that the reason he says why they advance and we fall back is our treatment of women, by which we deprive ourselves of the talents and energies of half the population. He uses a couple of rather striking images. He said, we see women at best as like jewelry or musical instruments. Mm -hmm. You know, you look at them, you yeah. play them. But decoration. Decoration or yeah. musical instruments, I think, is a very right. good metaphor. And he goes on to say that um, this means that, uh, using another rather striking image, he says that our social body and our body politic are like a human body that is paralyzed on one side. And the more I think about it, the more I feel that he, 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 he did a it. very important thing. I won't say that this is the sole reason, but I would say it's probably the most important single reason. Not so much for their falling back as for the West moving forward. Mm. I mean, the question isn't only what went wrong with them, but what went right with the West. Are you optimistic, are you hopeful that uh, the Middle East is in a state of change so that uh, it can reach a higher level of its own potential uh, yes. as it has in the past and other times in the history of the world? I have no doubt at all that they have the potential. I mean, these are not stupid people. I mean, they're no more stupid now than they were a thousand years ago. And they ago. made huge contributions to civilization. And they have made immense, history. not once, but twice, they were in the forefront of civilization. Right. In antiquity, and again in the Middle Ages. Right. Uh, they were in the forefront of civilization, the leaders of the world in every significant field of human endeavor. They were in the forefront of the sciences, of medicine, astronomy, mathematics, you name it. Um, also industry, manufacture, and so on. They developed an international banking system. In, the, in early medieval times, you could draw a check in Iraq and cash it in Morocco. I mean, they had a banking system when the sort of primitive barbarians in Europe wouldn't even know what you meant by talking of such things. And then they fell back. They didn't so much, it isn't so much that they fell back as that we of the West moved forward. And um, there are a number of reasons for that. I'm not saying that the position of women is the only one. But I would say it's probably the most important single reason why Europe and then the larger Western world 
moved so far ahead, not only of the Islamic world, yeah. but also of all the other non-Western societies. Well, what's interesting today is that women are making some specific progress in Iran. Yes, yes. Women are making progress and... Um, and a part of the government in limited ways. I feel that in the Muslim world now, the best hope for the future is their women. Hmm. Well said.